Hi, I'm Daryl Renee. I've worked here at Animal Medical Hospital in Charlotte, North Carolina now for about three years. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about something that is near and dear to my heart. This is Dolce, he's here to help us out today. He's actually my dog and he was lost for three years. I since then moved to Hawaii and then here in North Carolina and three years later I got a phone call from a veterinarian office saying that they scanned him and had found my pet. Abbott and Home Again are two of the companies that dominate the US market. A microchip implant for animals is a glass encapsulated RFID microchip that is designed to be implanted into living flesh. The device consists of a radio frequency identification, or RFID, integrated circuit, a capacitator, and an antenna. It's sealed in a capsule of medical grade glass. The glass capsule is partially coated in a porous polypropylene substance to encourage the formation of tissue to prevent migration within the body. The small grain of rice sized implant is a way to identify an animal. When a scanner is brought within range of the implant, the scanner emits a radio signal that stimulates the implant, causing it to emit its own radio signal in response. That signal is picked up by the scanner and converted into a unique identification number. So, if your pet gets lost, they're going to need to be scanned for microchip. That will happen by somebody taking them into a shelter or a veterinary hospital clinic, and they will then proceed to scan the pet for microchip. This is a scanner, and it will pick up on any microchip that is in the pet. Dolce's is really easy to find. His is located where it should be between the shoulder blades. His chip number popped up, um, so then we would type that into the National Registry and find out what the manufacturing company is that his chip is registered with, as well as we'd be able to find all of the owner contact information. Here at Animal Medical Hospital, when a lost pet is found or a stray is found on the side of the road, Usually someone will bring it in and we always do a full body scan. I know earlier you saw demonstrated that Dolce's chip is located between his shoulder blades, which is where the proper placement is. However, sometimes they do tend to migrate down the back, down an arm, or sometimes they can be migrated down to the front of the chest. So it's important that technicians do a full body scan. That way we can actually locate the information from the owner. It's important that chips are registered as well. A chip without being registered without contact information for an owner is very, very useless. We can't do anything with a number other than find out where that chip came from. And unfortunately, some records aren't always very clear. Microchipping is quick, it's easy, it doesn't require any sedation. It's how Dolce was brought back to me, so come see us here at Animal Medical Hospital. We're happy to help with anything that you need.